My name is Ben Sorkin and I'm a senior studying mechanical and aerospace engineering. This is kind of my home to tinker and create and build things. hundred and fifty to four hundred and twenty million gallons of unburned gasoline are released into US waters every year by just the pleasure craft industry alone. You switching to electric outboards would work on completely eliminating this number. I want to be at the forefront of this technology, at the forefront of innovation concerning sustainable technologies. Hi, I'm Vivian Chang, a second year master's student in Woodrow Wilson and we're about to start our second volunteer training workshop for the Day of Action. I think individually a lot of people are kind of waking up. A lot of my friends who've never participated in protests or don't necessarily keep up with news about, you know, the government or civil rights are now like reading, talking, organizing themselves and that's really important. So my task is to say a few words about how and why so many members of the Princeton faculty are here and being part of today and will also be here tomorrow and the day after and four years from now when many of the students here are gone and a new generation of students are here. Intellectuals, especially academics, have the power that comes from political liberty, from access to information and freedom of expression. We take them for granted here but we shouldn't. It is the responsibility of intellectuals to speak the truth and to expose lies. And what we're trying to do here, all the faculty that's participating, is to practice that responsibility. The books here are all about butterflies, which is what I'm writing about at the moment. There are tree books together, bird books together, over around behind you. These are all um, individual project boxes for uh, research projects or teaching projects, uh, done or undone. Hi, I'm uh, Henry Horn. I'm an emeritus, but not so you'd notice, professor of ecology and evolutionary biology at, uh, at Princeton. And um, I've actually been teaching here for 52 years now. Of course, I've seen waves of environmental concerns, the first in the 70s uh, and the, uh, the first Earth Day. There was a great deal of activity at that time, and then it just waned for quite a while. I think the thing that is missing is the long view, the long view of history, the long view of the future, a notion of what real sustainability with humans as part of nature is all about.